I've seen these for sure at Munich. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. So that's, uh, is that a new turntable by Reed? Uh, no, it's not. It's, okay. uh, it's their old one C. Let me just turn this down yeah. one sec. Is that the finish it normally comes in? It's the in? finish, yeah. So yes. this is the Carillion Birch finish. Okay, that's but it's, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> that's incredible. I think I'm with the cowboy here, aren't yes, I? Okay, yes, I'm just yes. making sure. I'm just uh, incognito today, yes. Okay, I was like, you threw me I'm off. Undercover. You I'm undercover, I'm undercover. Yeah, so this is, and this is the either drive version. Or okay. sorry, the friction drive version instead of the belt. This is gorgeous. Thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. And this tone arm is nothing to sneeze at because the reed tone arm is it's, quite uh, it's engineer, a engineering marvel. Yeah, it's a great um, arm. And that's the new Yutsero Yurushi Gold cartridge on it. And what are we talking about price-wise here? The table with the friction drive is 20000 Really? Okay. And the arm is like, depending on which wood you put on, you're between six and eight. Really? Canadian. So you're under 30K Canadian? Yeah. And then the cartridge is 17,000. Okay. Wow. This is gorgeous. This and what is actually else? a cool piece too. This is the new, uh, we're bringing this in. This is IK Audio. Okay. From, uh, I believe it's Bulgaria. Okay. And uh, I'd say it's the best. Uh, Point. Clamp I've had come through the store yet. So what is it? A two piece? It's clamp? two piece. They use different woods. This one's using the what is it? The lignum vitae wood with okay. leather, but it's actually got a spindle that pushes down onto the spindle and reduces vibration. So it's dissimilar materials. Interesting. So something that is addressing the spindle itself. Absolutely. You can see this is a knockdown version of it. Okay. So this one's half the price. It's a different wood. He uses different inserts. Leather. Wow. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a, a complex. It, it's a very complex. How much does that sell for? This one's forty six hundred. Okay, and that's a lot. But this one's, I think, I have to look again. It's like I think it's twenty five hundred. Wow. Okay. And then he has another one that's like six hundred bucks, and he's got another one coming that's even more. <laughs> this turn table though is just so badass. And I'm not a turntable. Well, I don't own one, but. This would be in my list of top five I think I would choose. It's a great turntable, especially if you want something that's newer aesthetic mm -hmm. and not that vintage look. Yep, but yep. I'm, a, I'm also a friction drive fan, so this okay. is right up my alley. Nice. All right, what else we got here? Let's go through the whole stuff. Let's sure. Yeah. So now this is... Uh, I've never seen this. This is Trophomatic from Oh, Trophomatic, okay. So I'm the importer in Canada for this. Okay. So this is the... The amp is the AOS Plus. Okay. Uh, KT-150s, push-pull, 150 watts. And this is the power supply for the Lara line stage. Tube line stage. Fully balanced tubed line stage. And not a pretend fully balanced, like not just XLRs and back, it's right. actually a fully balanced tube line stage. Okay. Very impressive. And I'm not, today has been, a th I'm not a green fan, but I saw some B&Ws earlier that had that, and these. <laughs> so this, this is, is Aston Martin. Aston British, Martin. British, is this? Okay, so this is the same Aston Martin green that's downstairs. British Racing Green. Okay, this is the same thing. Yeah. Now, what, no wonder it's resonating with me because I said the exact same thing in the video I shot downstairs. Okay. Okay. I was like, I never would have had anything green, but today it's I've my seen favorite two. color, and this I is... ordered this like this. So this wow. is the thing with Craftomatic; they're fully yeah. custom. So okay. when you order one. You can order in any color you want. And that's Aston Martin Green. 
Yeah. That's the only green I would ever have, and it looks great. <laughs> Thank you. It looks Thank great you. Uh, on the speakers. That's it. And so the speakers, I am, I have encountered these once before in Munich. Yes, Stein yes. Music. These they have Stein. a lot of different models. They right? do. So, I mean, this is the, in the Bobby series, mm -hmm. this is the, the ultimate or the top version. There's three versions of it. Okay. Um, and they're modular too. So yeah. you buy the, you buy the, the bookshelf and then you can add on the bottom or that's on cool. the top, depending on what you, what you're looking for. Well, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah, I was very impressed with their room in Munich. Yeah, they're they're always good in Munich. I'm going to go this year too. I can't wait. Yeah, I just booked this weekend uh, to go. So yeah, awesome. and then a playback designs for your DAC. That's the DAC. Yeah, awesome. You've probably heard it many times. Yeah, but a lovely DAC. Yes. Four three two Evo server. Evo server. Yes. Okay. So we're using that right now, and obviously. Well, the other thing we're using is Some the S switches. booster power supplies. Yeah, that that actually comes stock with the Evo. Oh, it A does. Run. Yes, and then if you go to the master version, he makes his own power supply. Okay, this is like second tier for his servers. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, and then I'm using uh, Yeti Acoustics from cabling. The okay. So Yeti Acoustics does the um, does all my power line conditioning. So these are transformer based. Okay. Along with filtration. And they're custom as well. So, you know, if you don't like... If so you they're don't an like isolation a, transformer? Absolutely. Okay. And, like, if you don't want a transformer in your amp pack, right. Right. we can build them so that he can have two sockets going to your monoblocks. With that, that are, bypass. It, well, that's bypass good. Bypass it, or you can have it just with filtration, whatever you want. It's okay, that's the kind stack. of things I like to hear. Those are people that really understand. Because you just, for most amps, you probably don't want another transformer right in front of... It's, it's transformer. It's funny. Uh, most of the time, I like it, but there's the odd one where it, it's very system dependent. Gotcha. And you know, you. That's why when I sell these, I let people try them and say, okay. hey, does this work or not?" Gotcha. You know, and then we can make it work, kind of. Thing. So these are um, for different demands. You got different size transformers. Yeah. So we use. We just separated. This is just on the digital side right okay. now, and then the other is more doing the power amp uh, and the preamp section. Gotcha. Yeah, and so, yeah, an isolation transformer on a tube amp, you know, not, not a big deal. You no, know. no. Yeah. And then he's doing also the cables as well. So all my cables are Yeti Acoustics. Okay. These are a prototype cable. They're a nanocarbon cable. Nanocarbon. Yes. So. I've um, seen people try carbon conductors before. Yes. Well, this is a prototype he had originally planned to be in the $20,000 range. Okay. These are, well. Or seventy thousand. Oh, seventy thousand. Okay. Yeah, because he had to use three leads, and okay. the, the cost for this is okay. un outrageous. But yes. So we're we're playing around to get it right, but it's okay. a, it's a great sounding cable. Yeah, I remember Vandenhall tried it at yes, one point. For sure. People have even tried it in power cords, which I don't think it's really good for power cord purposes. But for speaker cable, I think that might be a good. Option. Yeah, he's not using it for the power cords; just on the yeah in the interconnect okay. right now. Okay. Interesting uh, cables. Uh, and then what else is here? This oh, is a Lindenberg too. That's that's the phone stage we're playing right now from Germany. Let's see. Let me give me a little light here because I didn't bring my little separate light this evening. So fully discrete, two input can be moving coil, moving magnet, lots of variation on loading. What's the price on that one? Uh, Twenty-four thousand. Okay. Canadian, we're talking here. Canadian. Okay. And then. Uh, it's a cute little amp here. Yeah, this is another Trophomatic. It's an older one, but uh, looks great. Yeah, it's modern, a, but it's got a vintage vibe. Yeah, cool. same thing. And then this is actually pretty cool. This is a this is a trickle down from Lindenberg. It's their Bazette to Phono Stage. Okay. So, fifty six hundred dollars Canadian. Okay. Three inputs. So it's one mm, two mc, all discrete uh, paths, uh, all yeah. discrete made. It's fantastic phone stage so you can start with this and then upgrade if sure you want. why not why not yeah and then this is kind of another thing too this is from Trophomatic Sun okay. there's a new company coming out called Senna Sound this is a phone stage by him. really okay yeah and we're looking around twenty five hundred dollars two input phono stage nice yeah very very well done okay 
So that's new coming. It's, is it out yet or is it? It's not out yet. It's coming. The website, you can actually go on the website, but it's not open yet. It's, it's, it's coming and they're going to make a series of this. So there's going to be uh, not only a phono stage, but then headphone amp all in this kind of mini kind of stackable setup. Okay. Nice. And then what do we have here? Like a desktop system and headphones? Yeah. I'm. Uh, these are Graham LS35As. Yeah. Okay. Graham. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I'm a dealer for them. And uh, those Abyss headphones? Or what those are, are Abyss headphones. Yes. I'm also an Ergo dealer from Switzerland with the Ergo Floats. Yep. This is their amplifier for headphones. Nice. Oh, it's Stein makes these things that are... Yeah, so they're harmonizers. So they put out a frequency and uh, makes your system sound, I feel, more airy, more open. Okay. And do they make these same things here? Yes, these those are the cones and okay. everything else that Stein's involved with. Okay, I never put two and two together. That was the same Stein that made the speakers, so now I know. Yes. All right, cool. And you're, you're a dealer? I'm a dealer. Harkin Audio for all of this stuff. Okay. Harkin, is it on the... Uh, I'm on the wall here. Or Oh, yeah. Here you are down here. Almost blocking your... Yeah, or my car here. You can... And you're based in... Uh... I'm in Kitchener, just out in you know, Kitchener, Ontario. Okay. Cool. It's a cool logo. I still have a box of you guys written dry cell on it. Oh. It's a long, long way ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> when you used to distribute Denon. Oh, that was before my time. <laughs> uh, actually, you used to distribute Denon a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. This yeah, was very awesome. informative and a really cool gear. Awesome. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. You'll have to come down and really listen when you yeah. get a chance. Okay. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about, well, I don't know if you're on. Oh, yeah, I can turn this off. Yeah.